Welcome to the very first Glitz and Glam TV Productions podcast. Well, I guess I've done other podcasts on this channel in the past, but what the heck, I'm going to call this one the first official podcast. So here it is. What I want to talk about today is imagery. Whether you're creating content for yourself or for clients, imagery is so very important to what we are doing. Getting to know your client and the project they are working on is imperative. You have to learn the vibes their project is emitting in order to properly express their channel through graphics and other assets. Is it a comedy channel? Then you'll probably want your graphics to give off a funny or a silly vibe to them. Is it a conspiracy channel? Then you might want it to have a weird type feel. But most importantly, get to know your client and ask them directly what they'd like to see in their logos and graphics. If they aren't sure and give you the creative freedom, just remember it's all about the vibes. And don't hesitate to give your clients any suggestions if something doesn't seem or sound right. Remember, there's a very good chance your client is not a content creator. And this could all be new to them. So guiding them through the process is very important. Explain to them why you feel one thing might work better over another. Having a logo that looks like it belongs on a horror channel when it's a comedy channel, might confuse the audience. Just because something looks cool is not a good enough reason to go ahead with the design. Everything about the design should be carefully crafted to basically do one thing, and that is to draw the people in. I dare say confusing people is not the best approach for drawing them in. Every project you approach is like approaching a whole new world. Go ahead and make Disney references, <laughs> okay, because I love Disney, so go ahead. <laughs> but seriously here, every project is its own world. And as a content creator, it is your job to create that world through video and images. If it's a podcast, then you have to double down on your images and graphics design in order to create the world in which your podcast resides. Let me be very clear with this. This is not optional. The world must be created and you must create it. From thumbnails to lower thirds to logos to promotional graphics, every single asset you create for that project must all live in that world. Meaning they all must carry on that same vibe. Again, this requires you to learn your client and their project. This also means that assets should not be general enough to use across multiple projects. Everything should be tailored specifically for the world in which that project lives. All right, I'm going to close this podcast session, and I want to thank you for listening. If you like this podcast, please give me a like and subscribe for future shows. If you have any questions or comments about anything, feel free to share them in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Until next time, enjoy and never stop creating. <laughs>